Okay, I just wanted to post a video on this on my uh, old Toyota Prius here. Um, I bought a steering wheel cover uh, for this car. It's a vinyl steering wheel cover. It has great texture. It's got a nice grip about it. And uh, I bought it at Walmart, and I think I got it for around $14. And it says fits uh, size 14 and a half to 15 something. So I thought this would fit my wheel. I measured it, I thought everything was good to go. I measured from the left to right, and uh, boy, was I wrong. I got home and I had a lot of sag in the bottom. I don't anymore now, but I'm gonna show you what I did, okay? As you can see here, it's a, it's a, it's a show, sew job I did here. I used a, a upholstery thread, the real heavy duty type, and I'll post that on the bottom of the comments there of my video, uh, how to get there in uh, Amazon to find the uh, product. And uh, what I did is uh, I put this wheel back on uh, like it was, and I found my spot where it was, and I marked it and down the center. And I took it back off, and then I cut it with a pair of scissors. And then I kept trimming it just little by little, left and right. Always trim a little of the same on each side until I finally got it to meet in the middle decently. Okay, then I took it back off and the steering wheels are real nice because what you'll do is you can turn them inside out and they'll, they'll basically fold like an arc, like an arc like that. So this inside will be turned inside out, kind of like turning a piece of cloth around and you can just take the hook needles. That's what I bought here was a, a set of hook needles here and uh, the real heavy duty thread. This thread is really hard to break. Uh, it's even hard to cut. And I made sure I, I had some window eye, eyelet things here because it's really hard for me to thread a needle. And uh, these hook needles, I used the smallest one in the package here. And um, I just uh, went and sewed it all the way across. I made sure I, I, I got myself a good long length of thread, about three feet of it. And I just went in and out, in and out, in and out. After I took this off, and you, like I said, you turn it out and then you, you flip it up until it's a V shape. You'll have the white, the inside white, a V shape, and you'll sew through it and just sew through it and sew through it all the way through, all the way around. And then once you get done with that, tie it all off real good if you're not a sewer. And make sure you wear gloves. I had gloves because the thing was tearing my hands up. So I, I had to wear gloves to push the needle through. But once you get it sewn, and then it takes a little bit of work because it's going to be tight, man. And you'll be putting this puppy on, and it works out really nice for 14 bucks. Now I have a good steering wheel cover that'll probably last a really long time. Uh, and, and this wheel lasts a long time, but it's just overuse. It just wears out the little rubber padding on there. But if you go online, the, the right fit, because these steering wheels are 14 and 1 8. It's a wacky, weird size. You go through Toyota, it can be over $100 for a steering wheel cover. So this is really cheap. Buying this thread, buying the uh, the hooks, and, and buying the steering wheel cover, and a little bit of your own work and effort. I mean, $20, $25 the most. And uh, it works for me. Good luck. God bless.